Let's start with the unboxing of the Fantech Optimax MK885 RGB Optical Mechanical Switch Keyboard. Uh, so if you look at the box, same as all the other Fantech products, standard packaging, glossy feel to the images. You have your RGB color, 100% waterproof. This keyboard only has 14 spectrum mode um, lighting effects. You have your uh, all anti-ghosting keys, macro support, dual shot injection caps, a Windows lock button, and it has media keys. You see the 30% uh, faster optical blue switches. So let's get to the unboxing. Inside is the Optimax keyboard wrapped in styrofoam packaging, uh, also covered with styrofoam. Uh, there is your keyboard. As you can see, there's the Optimax keyboard, a very long keyboard, non braided cable, though. We'll get to that in the review. Then you also get your switch and keycap removals or remover keys. And then you also have an instruction manual. So that's the unboxing. Let's head to the review. So you live in South Africa and want great gaming products at great prices? Then look no farther than jam.co.za. Here you can find some of the top quality gaming products that's to offer in South Africa at very affordable prices. They also have all the Fantech ranges here as they are the sole supplier of Fantech in South Africa. They also have amazing mouse pads that you can find which is very uniquely designed. Have a look at their website. Hi everybody and welcome to REA's Tech Reviews. Today we're looking at the Fantec Optimax uh, RGB Mechanical Switch Optical Keyboard. Um, it's a very good keyboard. Uh, we're going to see how it adds up or how it compares to the other keyboards of Fantec. The products are real good. We're not just saying this because we're reviewing their products. We're really saying this because they have very good quality products for the prices you pay. Especially in South Africa where this keyboard retail for less than a thousand rand. I mean, it's something you're not going to buy everywhere um, over the country. So for for my opinion or in my opinion, I really feel that these keyboards are very good quality and Fantec really did a very good job with this. Let's start with the design of the keyboard. As you can see, this keyboard is slightly longer than the Fantian and the Optilux. Um, so it's a longer keyboard and it's a bit of a heavier keyboard for me. Uh, I can feel the weight of this keyboard is a bit more, um, but it's not going to be something that's going to be, be really felt when you play with this keyboard because it's going to be on your desk anyway. The keyboard has this edging here on the side. It has this downward curve on it. As you can see, the metal on top is blunt, so it doesn't have any edging or curves on it. And also on the other side, it has this edging and curve. And on the bottom side, the metal also is just blunt. So I don't like this of the Optimax, to be honest. Uh, the Optilux and the Fantune has a curved edge at the bottom, where this one has this, I wouldn't say it's a sharp edge, but it's a bit more rough and scratchy than the curved edges. So I do feel it's going to irritate me if my hand goes up against it. So I don't really like this feature of the Optimax at all. Um, and also on the top side, not that your hands are really going to go to the top side, but it's something that you don't really want on a keyboard. You want that soft, smooth edging where this keyboard doesn't have it, only on the side. Another thing of the features is that you'll see there's no RGB lighting on the side of this keyboard where both the Fantian and the Optilux keyboard has lighting effects on the side. The Optimax unfortunately doesn't have any lighting on both sides of the keyboard. Okay, The keyboard still has the optical mechanical switches and like the Fantian it has the blue optical mechanical switches which is a bit louder for me than the Optilux's orange mechanical switches but it's not so loud that you're gonna <sighs> hear it every time it's it's actually a very smooth clicky sound it's not that overwhelmingly clicky sound um one other thing of this keyboard that i don't like at all is that this keyboard it's a mechanical keyboard which is supposed to be top grade quality it doesn't even has a braided cable so it's something that really upsets me yes the cable is very thick and it probably won't tangle because it's a very thick design cable and it has a thick nylon coating on it but there's no braided cable and I feel braided cable these days are the way to go if you have quality products. So Fantec on the Optimax, unfortunately we're not a big fan of the unbraided cable, but once again, it is a good keyboard otherwise. But uh, because of this, I'd rather go for the Optilux or the Fantian because I like my braided cables. Um, the keyboard itself, you'll see that it has the function buttons here at the top and 
with this one, um, if you looked at a previous review of the Optilux, it lacked the volume function buttons, but you could add it with the software of the keyboard. So you can add it afterwards and make any other key or volume keyboards where this keyboard has your dedicated volume keys here at the top for a function. And also you have your mute button, your skip buttons, play and stop, um, and all your other multimedia buttons on the top. So it does have all the buttons, but like I said, these keyboards are remappable. So you can remap any of your keys to do any other functions. Same goes for all the other products of Fantic. At the bottom of this keyboard, you'll see that you have your metal feet at the bottom and the top side of this keyboard. And this metal feet allows the keyboard to be sturdy when you play. So it doesn't really, it won't really swift around when you do play. It won't move around, it will stick where it is. You can also lift up the feet if you like to play with an angle. And on the bottom of this feet is also this rubber edging on this rubber feet. So again, your keyboard won't really move anywhere. And um, the rubber feet on this Optimax keyboard is not as sticky as the Optilux and the Fantion. It does tend to move around a bit more when the feet is lifted up, but still it's not going to be something that you're going to just move your keyboard. It's still sturdy enough. And as you can see, it does claw to the table as well. Now, uh, I plugged in the keyboard now as you can see there's lighting of the keyboard the lighting is very good it is very bright as well it's not as bright as the optilux in my opinion but it's still very much visible so everybody that is going to walk into your gaming setup will see your lights of your keyboard so if you are into your rgb lights it's going to be very visible as well um, now it does have less lighting features than your optilux the optilux has 20 where this keyboard only has 14 so you do have less lighting features, but sometimes less is more, depends on what you want. Um, I dislike uh, the less features because there's a lot more customizability on the Optilux that we reviewed earlier. So I do still prefer the Optilux above this keyboard, um, not just for the unbraided cable that this one has and the lighting effects, but overall the feel of the Optilux. The design is better for me. It has this curved edging and everything, but I'm not going to go too much into Optilux now. But uh, yeah, this keyboard does have less um, lighting effects. Now on this keyboard, to change your lighting, you do have that function button and you can change your lights to off or you can switch it on you can make it the different light features you can just click on this button here lighting effects for me is a bit worse than your Optilux, but still it does have a lot of customizability. So 14 customizable light settings is still enough for a mechanical keyboard. Now let's look at the switches of this keyboard and the keycaps. Uh, the caps of this keyboard is also dual injection caps. So it means that the paint or the, 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 the engraving on this keyboard won't really fade. Um, it's going to be a long lasting cap of this keyboard. So you don't have to worry about your paint fading on your keycaps while playing for long hours or even after a few years of gaming. Um, as you can see, the switches of this keyboard are the blue switches. As you can see, the caps are really easy to remove. Um, and there is your blue switches. Now, the difference between this switches and the Optilux switches is the color. It's orange switches between the blue switches. And the orange switches of the Optilux is a bit more soft. So the sound it's make when you're clicking is a bit softer. Um, but the blue ones are not bad and I prefer the blue switches as, uh, as I use the fan gen keyboard which also has the blue switches and I do like the sound it makes. So the mechanical switches are very responsive. Really this optical mechanical switch of Fantic is, I'm going to say it again, I said in the previous videos as well, it's astonishingly good. It really is responsive and it's fast. So it's a real joy typing on this keyboard and play gaming on this keyboard. You also have the LED lighting at the back side of this keyboard. The LED lighting is shining through the switches and it's shining through enough to have a whole illuminating effect on the keycaps as well. So overall, the keyboard is not bad like that. Um, and the keyboard lighting effects are enough if you consider 14 key, uh, 14, 14 lighting modes is not too bad. Now, with the optical switches, like I've said in the previous videos, what I like about the optical switches is where the mechanical switches, you have the two metal plates pushing together when you push your switch. Um, this optical switch just has a laser light, so when you press your keycap, the switch pushes the laser light, and when the laser light breaks, it sends the, uh, the signal through to your computer. So it's quite faster, and Fantech claim that it's 30% faster than a normal mechanical keyboard. There you'll see also on the top side of the keyboard, you have function uh, macro buttons where you can function certain stuff. So 
Here, for instance, the keyboard is pre-programmed that your WASD and uh, arrows has their own um, color, uh, so which is very good for this keyboard. Um, and the thing is, the whole thing is customizable. So you can customize each individual key of this keyboard to have a different lighting effect. So you can even remap the key. So the functionality of this keyboard with the software is so good that you can literally customize the whole keyboard in keyboard individually. And you can also uh, customize your functionality of each key with the lighting effect that goes with it. Um, so there is your functions that you can save this to different functions. And this M1 to M4 and M5 is where you can save it to a different profile. So there's profiles you can save it to. We'll also show the software a bit later um, that we will work on, but the keyboard overall is a really good keyboard and we really enjoy using this keyboard. So let's start with the sound test of the Optimax mechanical keyboard. The Fantech MK885 keyboard also comes with software that you can download from any of the Fantech websites. We also um, have a link in the description below where you can download the software. And the software is similar to the software of the MK884 and the video we posted previously. Um, therefore, we're not going to show much of it, but there's a lot of customizability. And you can uh, swap your keyboard's lighting effects and all the other features of the keyboard's uh, individual keys. Um, there's also a feature where you can uh, like swap and change each of the individual visual keys lighting which is a very good feature so um, have a look at all the features on the, on the software um, it's quite customizable and I do really like what Fantech is doing here overall verdict of this keyboard is it's a very good keyboard it's a sturdy keyboard it has very good build quality and the keyboard is very durable um, this metal frame does give it a durability and it also looks very good my only problem that I have with this keyboard or the two problems that I have with this keyboard is number one the design I don't like this blunt a design for the metal frame on the top and even at the bottom it just doesn't feel right it feels almost if it's going to scratch you also at the bottom and i don't like the feel for it even when you play on this keyboard so when your hand is like this i don't like the feel your hand gets against this so i don't like this overall i would definitely rather than go for the optilux or the fanchion because the design is better and the second point is it doesn't have a braided cable for a keyboard of this stature for a keyboard that's mechanical optical i feel fantic really did a mistake not to include a braided cable into the Optimax keyboard. So if I can give my overall opinion, if you have a budget of less than a thousand, yes, in South Africa, you can buy this keyboard for 999 Rand. So it's less than a thousand Rand. But for a hundred bucks less, you can buy the Optilux keyboard that has more features, more lighting effects. It has a braided cable and it also has smooth edging, which is much more comfortable to play with. Or you can even just put about two, three hundred rand more to the table and buy the Fantune keyboard that has the detachable um, palm rest. So overall, I say not a bad keyboard. If you like this keyboard, you like the length. Like I said, the keyboard is longer than the other two. So it's a more of a lengthy keyboard. Go for it. But... In my opinion, rather settle for the Optilux or the Fangion as you're going to get more pleasurable experience out of it. Thank you everybody for tuning in to our reviews as always. Please like, subscribe and comment on all our content. We really appreciate the support and we do these videos just for you. Also have a look at all our other social media channels. We do have a lot of stuff going on there. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.